The thing that surprised me on coming in through the door was um, the early work. I hadn't expected this to be a retrospective, but I realized the, the sense of doing that since we've written a retrospective book. But I, I, I just thought it was so extraordinary to come across, first of all, that, that figure painting, which looks so much better in the life than it does in reproduction. I um, think, well, I think that's true of all of the works, really. Well, it, Yes, I know, but I think strikingly so with that. Mm. But then to, to get to one of the things that I saw right at the beginning of our friendship. Phantoms. Um, that and, big one over yes. there, yeah. And that, that I, I, I thought, it's, there it is. It must be nearly a quarter of a century since I first saw it. And it does exactly what it did all those years ago. 1987, that was, when I was uh, on the uh, MA well, at Chelsea. That is nearly a quarter of a century. Mm. I'm signs longer when you do it that way. But uh, I thought then it was so extraordinary the way it, it is abstract and yet figurative at the same time. The figurative elements emerge from a flurry of strokes and drips and pores. And uh, wonderful. It, it, I, I sat here earlier, um, half an hour ago, thinking that. If I had a Tiepolo ceiling, I could hang that next to this, and this would not be ashamed of itself. Mm. Oh, well, and that's it, it's all, it's quite all, a compliment, Brian. It's all very early work. Mm. Yeah. I think, I well, think it hasn't seen the light of day since Chelsea, because at the end no, of the I, MA, I, it just I, went I, back to my studio. I, I forgot all about it, which is why I'm so excited. But mm. it's, got, it's got so many of the initial elements of your work in it as well as being, for me, a, a, a reference to things in the past. I don't... I, when you get close up to it and you see the well, yeah, textures... That's clay there. That's yes. cold clay stuck on. These are, that's my special mixture that I drip on the yes, canvas. Yes, but this, this is your, your making sense of Jackson Pollock bit. Hmm. Um, because that, it's not dripping, it's poured, and it's poured very deliberately. It's poured as a form of drawing. Yeah, no, it's not And the, dra not the drawing makes, makes volume. Um, and then we have these wonderful impastos, touches of paint. And even, even the areas which are black, which are usually dead in most people's work, are full of texture and movement. Now, I think... And I, 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 I can see the horses coming up. Seeing form and shape in abstract painting. Well, that's really how it all the, how it became more figurative. Is these shapes, as you say, began to suggest themselves from the general morass of paint. And suddenly, I thought, yes, these shapes are looking more like figures. I might develop them a little bit more and make them a bit more figurative. And then when you do make them sort of completely figurative, as, as, as here, mm. in The Horseman, I mean particularly that one, because you went through that whole phase of painting in black and white, well, there's a black and white picture there. Yeah. Um, and, and here you lend a sort of logic to it. Well, I think in this one, back in those days, I would just start the painting sort of somewhere in the middle almost and do a few sort of bits of drawing on the canvas with charcoal and then the paint would come on and things would start to emerge. But these ones, obviously, I very specifically draw the whole thing in first. Um, so I think it's probably the introduction yes, of you, you know, the, specific the, the, drawing that's happened. Yours is a life in which I describe nothing, uh, uh, the whole of it. Is, is, is used. Everything you've ever done keeps on sort of cropping up again. So nothing is thrown away, nothing is wasted, mm. nothing is discarded. Um, so the, the key to everything resides in the early pictures. There's the monolith <laughs> downstairs, which we should go and look at again. Mm. Because that, that is, I think, the very first picture that I saw. Because it was. Uh, your methodical way of showing the pictures was never to distract me from whichever one I was looking at, mm. so that everything else had its face turned to the wall. I was only allowed to look at one picture at a time, <laughs> which, you know, as an art critic, is pretty frustrating because one runs around sort of sobbing like a <laughs> pee in a drum. Um, and and I, I couldn't, 
Uh, and Harry, uh, this man is twice my size. <laughs> so you're wanting to say, uh, hurry so up. Allowing me to <laughs> see one picture. And then I looked at your painting desk and I saw all the brushes neatly arranged in ranks from, from small to large and the paints exactly the same. And I mean, here's a man with a logical mind. Yeah, so everyone's surprised it, when they what, come whatever to my Whatever chaos I see in your <laughs> pictures, I know that there is logic behind it. <laughs>